Hello, good morning. It is time for our live today and I'm so excited to be here. I hope to see some of you here too and just glad if you're watching the replay. Um, here we go again with another cold front. So I'm um, ready to just uh, get through it and hopefully this will be the last one for our season, right? Um, Texas has had some crazy cold weather. Good morning, whoever's joined. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for being here. Um, today, we are going to be talking about connection, and um, connection is actually one of my very favorite words because I am all about connection. In fact, so much that I named my business Connecting Point Business Coaching whenever I launched it a few years ago because I really believe that how we connect in everything in our business and our lives is what gives us the most joy, um, the most fun and the most success. And um, so talking about what that looks like today in our business is really exciting to me. I could talk about this all day long, but I won't. And um, I'll try to keep it short, even though it is my favorite topic. Um, last night I got to go to a great networking event and uh, meet several new women in business in my area, and it was so fun. And just the opportunity to, to connect with humans um, was so, wonderful to spend that time together so um, anyway today I really want to bring to you why we need connection in our business and why it's important and how you get it and so um, you know I like to really explain or think about in, in anything that we do our why so why connection if you're on and you want to put anything in the comments I would love to hear what you think about connection any thoughts you have on it but you know what the why is for me what I've seen the why brings more m meaningful conversations when you have connection it builds trust um, you know I can think of when I used to work in my retail store and people would come in and you just just start talking to them and something kind of magical happens where that you get a connection and you can just talk like you've been old friends like forever have you experienced that I love when that happens and it happens quite often because um, I, I guess because I seek connection so much so I really try to lean in and listen to people and hear what they're saying and um, and truly connect with them get to the core of who they are and what they're looking for and what they need and so building that trust whether it's with staff with customers with your next door neighbors whoever building that kind of connection is going to bring meaningful relationships that are mutually beneficial and um, Good morning, Casey. It's so good to see you. Trust and deeper understanding of who someone is. It is, isn't it? When you have that connection, there is that deeper trust. And I appreciate you, you put, putting that out there because if we can't build trust in our relationships, both at home and in our business, guess what? There's just not going to be the same kind of momentum, the same kind of repeat business, the same kind of results as when you do have that trust and when you make that connection. And so to have what I call the wow, which is always what we're working for. We want the wow in our business. We want people to be wowed by what we do, what we sell, how we do it, by our staff, by how we interact in every way, by all of our policies and the things that we create in our store. And so if we create connection, by having things that really build the relationship and build that trust, it creates that repeat business that is wonderful word of mouth and, and gets you the recognition that you deserve and that you want and that gets your business going even more. So it's, it's truly at the core of everything. And, um, and it feels great. You know, that's the thing about connection is once you really get it going, it's not work. It, it actually is, it's just, part of doing business that feels great it's part of just understanding and loving other humans and that's the coolest thing to me about being a person in business is having that opportunity to just know so many different kinds of people and figuring out how you connect with the different personalities even when they're having a bad day even when they're yelling at you or they're mad at you because something that didn't go right with every whatever with your transaction in some way occasionally we get angry customers right and so how we deal with that that it diffuses them and connects and builds the relationship up instead of creates a parting is really important so 
what happens when we don't have connection? You know, it means people don't feel understood. I can think of times whenever there was a lack of connection and it, it caused a disconnect. It caused someone to leave. There was a misinterpretation or something that really triggered somebody and it makes that trust be broken and it begins to erode the re relationship. Whether it's, again, in the business, talking to your clients, your customers, your staff, or whether it is um, in a relationship at home or relationship with friends. It's something we all have to continually navigate. And so, because if we don't, that erosion, it's like a cancer and it eats away at our business and our success. And so having the connection to me is truly part of the, the absolute center of what holds a business together and makes it really, really flourish. Um, and so one of the other stumbling blocks I see with it is lack of empathy. It's having difficulty relating to people. It's having difficulty to um, read their emotions and be able to respond appropriately to not further trigger their emotions, but to truly be able to diffuse their emotions and create a, a trust and a bond again. So that's still always, always the goal. Um, and I also see whenever there isn't the connection, there's just not a sense of trying to create a we all win. There's not this responsibility of having everybody feel good about what they're doing. Um, teamwork is off. People are not empowered. People um, are not able to share their feelings well. And that's when things really disconnect. I mean, if you think about a time in your business where something didn't go well and afterwards you felt bad, the person felt bad, that was a disconnect. And those disconnects definitely are something that just break apart and continue to erode a business. Because what happens is once that negative energy starts happening, it populates. And it populates and it just takes over. And then the next thing you know, you're just churning through struggle after struggle after struggle because you've gotten into a place where a disconnect happened. It happened for you because of some event. It happened for maybe somebody in your store, somebody in your home because of an event. And then everything begins to just go south. And so getting connection is a very deliberate and intentional practice until it becomes just a way of being. And I like to think right now for me, I've, I've developed it into that way of being. Certainly I've gone through times whenever I was more agitated about something going on in my life and it caused me to have some disconnects um, with people that I loved and cared about because I responded in ways that were not connecting, not building trust, but instead attacking. And so that's another thing. Whenever we don't have connection, there's sometimes attacking, sometimes there's withdrawing. Um, it's a lot of the lower negative energies that you will see and feel and how you engage in things and, and work with people when you know that you're not creating connection because you feel probably in your body as well as in your mind and just in your daily practice and being that things don't feel quite right. And when they don't feel quite right, that means that connection has been broken. And so getting to the root of that and fixing it is powerful and can be changing in so such a dramatic way because as you begin to really reconnect and build that trust up, holy cow, the, <laughs> the results are incredible. Um, I've seen so many times when people have come to me in their business and they're having struggles. And um, there's one I'm thinking of in particular that um, business partners kind of got sideways with each other but kept trying to work together. Well, that lack of trust they had with each other and that lack of ability to communicate and work through it, it began to just build and build and build and build. And what happened eventually is that it caused people to leave. Some of their long-term great staff were starting to walk away. They were having trouble finding new people. Sales were going down. It's incredible how this one thing can truly either help you thrive or cause you to contract and, and really, really struggle. So if you're in a place of struggle, um, I would encourage you to really examine what's the connection looking like? How are you building the trust? Do you know how to rebuild that trust? Are you so overwhelmed and burdened sometimes that you just can't even think about it? Your default is just, I have to get through this, which is so normal. You wear so many hats, that's gonna happen. 
Um, and so it, it's okay that that's there, but it's recognizing it and turning it around and being very intentional about how you build that connection. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy helping people do is create that connection. Because again, I'm all about connection. It is just um, how you connect all the dots in every single aspect of your business. I know from working with many and even for myself, how once those dots are connected, it does give you that ease and that flow and those results that you really, really seek. Hi, Lashana. You said, amen. Know that one too, way too well. Um, and, and we all do. I mean, there's, there's definitely times that it happens. And so what I like to think about in regards to this as well is, you know, as you walk away today, when you're trying to build connection, keep in mind every decision that you make and how it affects others. And, you know, that can be exhausting. It's a lot to do. But if you do it from a place of coming for connection, it, it really, as you push through it, can make a huge difference because creating that feeling where that everyone in the situation is winning, because so much of the time what happens is I'm giving too much, I'm giving too much, now I'm resentful, and now we both lose because I get angry, I get frustrated, and I get mad at you because you're not doing more. And so <laughs> I don't know if anybody can relate with that, but I see this all the time, especially for women. You know, we are servers and givers, and so we want to give and give and give, but then we expect some return on that giving, and people don't naturally return a lot of times, especially if you're the one in authority. And so being able to recognize where we are perpetuating the response that we're getting that just is our default and we don't even realize that we, we just think we're giving and giving but no it's really we're giving until we can't give anymore and then we're pushed to our limit and we're frustrated and boom it causes that lack of trust so being victim to your situation that's another clue that you maybe really need to look at connection you m maybe really need to begin to do some deliberate and intentional practices that will help you be more connected to what's really going on with yourself and with others so that you can build that bond, build that trust back up so that you can really move forward and do the things that you want to do. Um, I guess the last thing I really want to say about connection is that if you're in a place of disconnection and you can't figure out how to get there, get out of it, please reach out because it is truly at the core of so much of success. And I have found time and again, and I truly believe with all my heart, that when we connect with our gifts, our service, our love, our best intentions for ourselves and for others, we all win. We actually do all win because things hum along so much better and everybody's taking care of your clients, you're taking care of your clients, you're taking care of your staff, you're taking care of your family, you're taking care of yourself. It's a lot of self-care that creates that connection. And so if you need that, make it a priority. And if you need help figuring out how to make that happen amidst all of your busyness and your work and everything that's coming up day after day where it just feels like you're a fireman putting out fires, um, you know I'm here. So I wanted to bring this to you today. I hope that you have found this helpful. Um, our five C's to me are, are really important. These are all things that come from emotional intelligence. And I have found that as we step into our intelligence in how we engage, which our emotions are how we engage in things, um, and we really look at where we have opportunities and where we can build our strengths, it truly creates that connection and all that success that we want. And that's what I desire for each of you, and I know you desire for yourselves, and that's why you're here. So thanks for being here. Um, anybody have any comments as we close up to go today? I just want to thank um, thank you for being present, those who are here. I see there's been four on this morning, and I appreciate you, Casey and Lashana, for putting something in the chat there. And as you watch this, really, I encourage you, let's let this be a space for you to comment and share and um, seek questions and answers. We can support each other because it's all about how we connect. And you know what? 
we're not all at a networking event, but we can be online as we interact with each other. So I encourage you to do so. Um, you're welcome, Lashana. Thank you. You're always so sweet to um, show up and comment and participate. And I see you working continually to connect. Um, Cindy, oh, so good to see you. Glad you are here today, too. Thanks, thanks for coming. Tell Gay hello for me. Um, all right, y'all. Take care and go connect today. Bye.